Yes, when you think of your chakra vortexes, think of a tornado or a torus field. The letters T O R, tornado, torus. When Dorothy's torus field or chakras, the vortex of her chakras that look like tornadoes, were out of alignment, she was allowing the divine order of God to get lost. The divine order of God is dog. Her dog was in someone else's garden getting into trouble. And this is a reflection of her mind going places in lower realms and attracting reptilian wicked witches into her life because she did not allow her mind or put or focus her mind on a higher realm somewhere over the rainbow. So because she focused on lower energies, narcissistic energies, the divine order of God, her mind went and got into trouble. So this made her Taurus field out of alignment. But when we focus on higher realms, truth, life, love, joy, connection, studying and and feeding our spirit and eating foods of life and drinking drinks of life and having relationships that create life energy, then suddenly our Taurus field, our tornado, our vortexes within our chakras begin to not be points of drainage to the material world they actually become uh, points of power and when you become a point of power and your chakras have become activated and powerful you begin to ignite a fire within people around you and this will aggravate some people and bless others so um so you're just being asked through this particular area in your body um, to just go th- do a little bit of studying and a little bit of balance and follow life energy and neglect death energy. Your spirit needs to be fed. To feed your spirit, think in terms of frequency. Life frequency begins at 70 hertz and death frequency begins at 25 hertz. So you're going to want to avoid soda and donuts because they have like zero frequency. It's death for your spirit. And you're going to want to clean. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Cleaning your outer world will help to clean your inner chakras. You can clean your house and your car, um, but you'll also want to clean your thoughts, your emotions, and even your relationships. This will help to feed and energize your spirit.